Dollars in the Rob with Fear and Levant was uh, I robbed um, Kaiser Keith himself basically yeah. with Beast of Burden. It was just like wow. It was just like the best fucking chords I've ever come across. It was just um, complimenting uh, simple as they come. It's so fucking defining rock chords, riffs basically. It was just a great riff. He said he didn't really go into the solos much. I loved him for that. It was meant in no nonsense, you know. It just got straight into the fucking stuff. Not like me. He was thinking, where the fuck is my tune? I've gone, fuck it. I just hope it's played. Like, you know, when you lose it, though, the more you fucking... Like, when you lose it at a time like this, you think, it's going to fuck me eventually. And it's going to really piss me off. I can't find the bastard thing. It's like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake... Ah, ah, I'm so good at losing this tuna. It's like a gift. You know, and if it's not the tuna, it's the clamp. So it's one or the other. See, it's just a, like a fucking... There's one thing I had a talent at, more than fucking doing anything else. It was fucking losing this damn bastard tuna. I need them to be like... I don't know. I need them to fucking... Um, to be installed on the guitar basically I did have that once and I fucked it <laughs> that was a guitar long gone long gone back in the past that one uh, when well, I had a tuner actually built in on it uh, yeah you forgot one thing with me is that I'm capable of also smashing the entire fucking instrument which it fucking is used on so then both you're back to square one again where the fuck did this bastard blues tuner go it just goes. It's like for me, it just feels like it's just like somebody's played a prank on me and just moved it. But that's just me getting a bit deluded. I moved it. I've played a prank on myself and just fucking like put it in a spot, a, a place, and popped it in a fucking place, which is just fucking um, completely. Uh, I don't know where the fuck it is. It's like oh, for God's sake, you know. I, and that's all I need. And I thought, I nearly thought it would just be there on the sofa. That's what I always think. It's got to be on the sofa because that's where the clamp is. And then it's not. <laughs> and you're like, oh, God, what have I done to myself now? I've done it again to myself. It's like, yeah, I'm going to pop all this works in these fucking art folders. Mummy's soul. It's stacked. It's stacked. It's like got a drawing there. I think it could have, I don't know. I think it's red. No, please, I have it. Oh, for God's sake, what the fuck? I mean, I'm so fucking messy, mate. It's just like, there's no system, there's no fucking organised system with it. That's why it fucks up so easily. And you've got Cam guarding all of this. Five days of work. So that's just immediately. So no shit out of the way. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, no, you have to open it out. Open it out so you can actually pop it in. You know. There we go. Right. That can just sit nicely on top of all that. Right. Fuck, I've got that's a good point. I owe 30 quid. Bollocks, right. And that's a shame. I love having that there. But I cannot have it there because it's just constantly... Uh, one of the things I find moving, and then I, ah, uh, it's like, ah, oh, for God's sake, mate, why did this have to happen? There we go, we fucking made some halfway. You know, <laughs> all that, it's like four minutes has gone. <laughs> we have to start it again for the song, really. Fuck.